Hey, what's up everyone? It's Masked Man Reviews back again with another video. And I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip. <laughs> You're probably already doing this anyway, but if you make videos um, on your phone, put your phone in airplane mode. This is the third time I'm trying to make this video. I've received uh, multiple phone calls and I don't really get that many phone calls, so I don't get it. It's like people are doing it on purpose uh, or maybe um, the gods um, must be crazy. If you haven't seen that movie, that's a pretty good movie. The gods must be must be crazy. It's a funny, funny movie. Watch it. But anyway, what we're here for is this particular scent. And this one, as you can see, is Carolina Herrera Bad Boy. I'm just going to jump right into it before I get another phone call. You have this nice box, felt box. Um, it's kind of like a velvety uh, feel to it. Let's go back a little bit. Has this like nice velvety feel to it. Um, black and gold with white lettering. You have your um, concentration, which is an EDT. And this one is 100 mil. The box is really nice. P some people don't care about the box, but it is uh, very nice. If you just want to keep it in the box, great. But, and then uh, at the bottom of, of, the, of the box, you have your uh, batch code, serial number, and QR code. Uh, if you want to keep it in the box, that's great. But this is a really nice box. But the bottle, I like the bottle. You have a lightning bolt. So very powerful symbol, lightning bolt, blacked out bottle. You have gold uh, on the base. See if you guys could get that. Carolina Herrera, New York. Really nice. You have your uh, CH logo. And then the atomizer, it's actually built into the bottle, as you can see. And this is one of my favorite atomizers. Let's let's go ahead and spray it. Really nice. You could kind of control the amount that you spray. So, uh, um, so far, a hundred percent, a hundred perfect score on presentation. Some people may think that this presentation is quote unquote um, cheesy or cheeky, but I, I don't believe that. There, there are other scents, like you know, your your one millions. I'm not going to show you your Paco Rabanne one million, which has these catchy bottles. Your Invictus, which is the trophy. There are a lot of scents like that, and those scents usually tend to do good. So, to you know, maybe one person may not like it, but another person may really love it. And this is the case for me. I really like this. In in regards to the notes. You have white pepper, black pepper, and bergamot at that opening, at that top. At the heart, you have sage, cedar, and then at the base, you have tonka bean, cacao, and amberwood. The noses behind this one are Quentin Biche and Louise Turner. I believe um, the lady, Miss Louise Turner, she might be the nose behind Bad Girl uh, from Carolina Herrera. She, she might be involved in that one, and Quentin Biche. He is the nose behind Azaro Wanted by Night, which is a scent that I really enjoy. So, does this smell like anything? Yes, it does. This smells to me like a scent which a lot of people have probably slept on. You probably don't know about this scent. It is by uh, Pepe Jeans, Pepe Jeans London. Um, they were really popular in the 90s and, and 2000s. They had uh, the Pepe jeans brand with all these different um, patterns on the jeans. Really cool concept, the, the Pepe jeans when it came out. I haven't seen much of their clothing lately, but um, they're, they're, they're still around, obviously, and they're trying to get into the fragrance game, which, but they, they did a fantastic job with that um, celebration. Fantastic job. I hope that more people will uh, start looking into that particular scent and I'm going to feature it on my channel. I just haven't featured it. I have a travel um, kit for it, a, a travel uh, bottle for it. I might just get a full bottle. Um, it's not a redundant purchase if you have Celebrate with this, uh, that is, but it does share some of the notes. Um, more notably, the cacao note is present in both. So it has that chocolatey 
uh, vibe to it. But this one is a little bit different. This opens up very uh, vibrant, very robust, very um, strong. It has a very intense opening. To me, the opening is very reminiscent of the original Invictus in that it has a very sweet, fruity opening. But it is not a clone of Invictus. It, it does, it's not a, a copy. It, it just has slight similarities. It's not the same scent. Um, it's more closer to the Celebrate, the Pepe Jeans uh, London one, than it is to Invictus. Just so, so we're on the same page. Um, as this kind of settles down, you get that, like I said, that uh, vibrant opening. As it settles down... You get those. Um, you get the cacao and the and the and the amber wood. So the amber wood kind of provides this um, sweet, luscious um, note that kind of lingers in the air. And I also suspect there are some other aroma chemicals in this because this is one of those scents that basically um, it comes and goes. So you you'll smell it very intensely at one point, and then it'll calm down for a minute, and then it'll just be vibrant again. This is not a, um, this is a very linear scent in, in the sense that after the first 10 minutes, this is pretty much what you're going to get for the entire duration of the scent. Once things kind of, they do change slightly, but that would be almost at the eight hour mark. It does uh, become a little bit woodsier at that point. And then it'll be on your skin for the duration to, for, on my skin approximately 10 hours. I received a lot of compliments on this and the um, projection for this one is about four feet. The sillage is about six feet. So it leaves a very nice scent trail um, to, to those around you. With all that being said, you would think that this is a very powerful or very beastly scent. It's not. That's why I call this the baby beast. It's a baby beast in the sense that basically the performance is going to be very uh, strong and it's and it's present, but it's deceptive. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Depending on the person's nose, they may be able to pick it up. If they have a very sensitive nose, they'll be able to pick up the scent. If they're um, if they're kind of used to this olfactory overload, which a lot of people are, there's just so many different things that you smell out in the world. Um, bad scents, good scents, etc., just from nature or from um, carbon, things of that nature, um, you may not be able to detect it. But I've received a couple of compliments from this um, in wearing it. And it, to me, it's a great scent, something that you should definitely try and look into for yourself. So overall, I really like this scent. I recommend it. Um, I don't normally get backup bottles, but this one, to me, I think is backup bottle worthy. I, I just don't understand why this hasn't received more accolades than, than it hasn't. And if you haven't tried the um, Celebrate by Pepe Jeans, I encourage you to try that one as well. All right, people, that's pretty much it. Very good scent. Something that I'm going to be uh, rocking in 2021. And, and a great date night scent as well. One of my favorite designer releases thus far. All right, people, take care. Peace and blessings. I'm out later.